What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great day. I, myself, am completely beat. Forgot to close that window so you can see the sun shining through, but Eagles made a signing earlier today. Um, if you saw the post, I told you, uh, you have to wait till I get home from work to, uh, to get the breakdown, but um, I appreciate all of you taking the time here. All the comments, all the questions, everything you guys have been asking. Cannot thank you enough. Appreciate you hitting the like button, subscribing. Hope you're all having yourselves a great day. But uh, we got ourselves a slot wide receiver. We talked about you know some of the positions that the Eagles need, but one of the things they always need is depth. And we talked about a lot of these depth positions, and we've been adding to them. And we talk about you know last night we got ourselves a nickel corner that can provide some return capability. Well. Now you've got yourself on the opposite side of the ball. You've got your slot wide receiver who can also help you in the return game. So let's take a look here at the Eagles newest signing Paris Campbell here. And we're all familiar with who he is. Obviously we've talked about him the last couple of years. Would Sirianni add him as a former guy that was with him on the Colts. And we saw him last year on the Giants 6 one former second round pick. And we actually went with JJ Arthega Whiteside, uh, both of them, not really panned out, but uh, out of Ohio State, this will be his sixth season. And, you know, last year had three starts, but only 104 yards, 5.2 yards per catch, no touchdowns, 3.3 yards after contact per reception. And he did have one drop. And I, I'm literally blown away right now. I literally went through and did all of that work for no reason. And, you know, I feel like you guys probably think I'm lying sometimes when I say this stuff, but. I need to prove it to you and show you just how much this app that I pay for to do my graphics takes away my work. So you can see right here, I did add his return stats. So that says eight returns, 191 yards, zero touchdowns, 23.9 yards per return, 36 yards as his longest, but it saved it with absolutely no stats and kept the rushing stuff there. That's cool, man. Uh, I really love how you guys do that. But, um, you can see he uh, helps us in the kick return game, not punt return. And back at Ohio State, I want to say it was 30.4 yards per return he had. So he's got some capability there. And just last year, he was doing that. Uh, that's why I did add it, but uh, no doubt. So you see, um, obviously, that the Eagles are lacking in that area. So let's take a look at it. But we've talked about, you know, needing to add to the wide receiver position. And obviously, you've got the best duo in the game, but you need more. And we don't know if Devontae Parker will even make the team. Hell, you don't even know if Paris Campbell will. But you need Britton Covey to step it up. Maybe he can show you something as a receiver. But beyond that, you know, obviously, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, they're interchangeable guys that, you know, you can play inside, outside. And, you know, if Devontae Parker could get back into old form, you know, he could play outside. They could go in. But if Campbell, you know, really steps his game up, shows off the talent he has, and, you know, finds some development here with the Eagles, I think that, you know, Hey, sky's the limit for him, but I still think you look in this draft, whether that, you know, be a high pick, a mid pick, a low pick, we'll see. But, you know, adding to this position was a must. You know that Quez, Julio, Alamade all uh, went their separate ways. And I, I talked about Alamade. I would have loved to have seen him back, but get someone like Paris Campbell here. And he's a quick dude. And he's somebody, again, he's going to have to compete, but we don't have much at slot. So you see him. And anybody else in green there is new additions. Gray are the future, uh, reserve future guys there. So you can see we have been adding here, and you've got five new players on offense, one via trade, four signings there. So Howie continues to cook, and I'll show you the defense here, but, man, you just continue adding here. You've got six players on defense there. I'm pretty excited. But uh, since last night, we've got two guys that can help us in the return game, both kick returners not punt returners so they can back up isaiah they could just be the kick returner if isaiah rogers is starting a corner which i do believe he could be so maybe campbell makes the team as that third fourth maybe fifth wide receiver that can help you in the return game but it's always a plus but that is all i've got for you right now ladies and gentlemen i literally got home um don't be surprised to see Spider-Man uh, coming out of my head here i got home from work wanted to put this together i was getting the graphics ready in the car ride home so Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. If anything else happens, I will make a live video for it. But I've got the cap video I want to put out tomorrow morning. And then when I get home from work, we'll do Fan Friday. So if anything happens in between then, 
I will be live, but if not, um, I got so much to do tonight. I've got to get a shower and get around like before I even think about that stuff. So no live video tonight. Um, but if you guys want to talk some birds, you know, all you got to do is comment down below. Would love to hear from you again. Hope you all had yourselves a great day. Um, and I think that, uh, the cap space video, the create cap space will just have to be the weekend. I'm, I'm trying to put these all out, but the Eagles keep making all these signings. So, Hey, I'm not complaining, but, uh, we'll have the recap this week, ways to create cap space this weekend. And, uh, we'll start with the draft at some point next week. And Holy hell, this stuff's going to fly right by. I promise you. So keep tuning in you sickos and we'll get through this, uh, man, we'll get through it together, but even the countdown hasn't begun yet. And you know, we started day 99 and ho ho. Let's make it there together, ladies and gentlemen, but have yourselves a great rest of your evening. Appreciate you taking the time, hitting the like button, subscribing, all that stuff. But until next time, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You all stay safe out there, and as always, say it with me now, Go Birds!